All right. <clears throat> now let's talk about why to create intentions. And it sounds almost common sense, but I'm going to go through a little bit of brain talk, okay? We want to deliberately choose the path that we're going in our life, okay? We can consciously create what's happening to us to a large degree. Um, and if we don't set intentions, if I was in a large group, I would say, what does that look like? What is that? Well, I'm saying, what, if, what am I trying to say here? Can you tell? Flying by the seat of your pants. All right. Yeah. Flying by the seat of your pants. So I don't, you know, what, when I was first exposed to all this information, I don't know if this was common sense or not, but it's like you really can consciously create your life. And if you're not, you're reactionary. All right. You are letting life happen to you and you are at the whim of life and everything is reactionary. Okay. So if you don't have an idea of where you're going, anywhere is going to take you there. Right. And just like with anything else that I want to create in my life, I have to have some kind of a plan. If I want a house and I want to build a house from scratch, I don't just start building it. I think about how I want that to look. I have an idea in my mind and then I formulate some kind of a blueprint and then I can hand this over to someone and, and they can actually build the house. And then think about something personal. If I want to do a trip, I don't just buy a ticket and go. Like I choose my dates, you know, I coordinate with the people that I, I want to include. We figure out what the different sites and, and scenery and all that kind of stuff are. And, um, and so there's got to be a little bit of planning to just about everything that happens in our life. But then you can also just think about the day-to-day -day stuff. If I want to go out and eat and I want to go to a restaurant, I have to think about the place that I want to go. I have to maybe scan over the menu, make a little bit of pre-planning. I have to figure out where it is, the address. So this is happening to a large degree, whether we want to or not, but we want to be consciously involved in the process. And something as simple as going to the bathroom, okay? I have to think about going to the bathroom first, and then I have to think about how to get to the bathroom, and then I go to the bathroom, okay? So this is happening, but we want to be consciously a part of this process. So when I think about something, when you, when we think about something, we activate the possibility for that to happen. And if I think about it just one time, the likelihood of that thing happening is probably slim to none. You know, I mean, there's a chance that something you know, may just fall into my lap, but for the most part, when I think about something, I activate the possibility for that thing to happen. And then the more I think about it, the more I strengthen the potential for that thing to happen. Okay. So you can think about your brain as if it was, or your mind as if it was this movie projector that is constantly throwing uh, projections in front of you that you're trying to go towards. All right. So, and this happens on a macro and a micro level. So micro would be, I'm sitting here and I want a cup of coffee. All right, I think about a cup of coffee. So then, all right, how do I get my coffee? I have to go over here and make it. Or maybe I have a canteen full of it. And then I go over here and I do that. So moment to moment, my brain is projecting in front of me the things that are going to happen. But this also happens big picture, big scale. You know, So when I think about what I want to do with my business, with my personal relationship, with my finances, with my fitness, with my help, health, that's macro. But it's still, I'm giving myself these images to shoot for and I move forward. And it's that image that helps drive my forward direction. So our brains are unbelievably magnificent and different from any other animal, as far as we know, in existence, because our brains, as opposed to a lot of other animals, have this capacity to create, to completely invent things in our mind. And then we can choose which things that we decide to focus on, right? So we have this capacity to imagine out of nowhere, possibilities. And because I'm imagining this thing, even if it's never happened, now I've activated the potential for that thing to happen. And the more I think about it, the more likely it is because I'm going to start planning. I'm going to start moving forward towards it. But then I also have this capacity with this consciousness that we have to choose what I want to focus on. And I can catch myself not focusing on the right thing and then choose the thing that I do want to focus on. We'll talk a little bit more about that. Okay. So this is about living an intention-based life. It really is. And again, you can choose to, and I think most people are unaware that they're unaware. They're unaware that there is this potential way of living, but you can choose to be in this world, in this realm, and all of a sudden you're a part of the Jedi Council. You have this capacity to do things that you never thought were possible. This is what I would consider to be like a formula for living an intention-based life. You have to create a vision for yourself. 
you have to think about what it is that you want to do with this life. We got this one life as we know it. What are we going to do with it? What do we want to be able to say that we tried or accomplished or tried to accomplish? You know, like it's like we might as well go for the things that we want. So you have to create a vision for yourself. Otherwise, you're just kind of floating through life and letting stuff happen to you. Once you create a vision, we believe that it's very useful to have a meditation and mindfulness practice in place because this is how you implement the vision. Because you can have a vision, but if you're not thinking about it constantly and you're not noticing when you're not thinking about it, then you're still being very reactionary. You're getting carried off by all these different whims and triggers and critical mind and being upset and people offending you. And that's taking you out of your slipstream of what it is that you actually want to create. So we want to focus on what we want. We want to notice when we're not focusing on what we want. This is when we're caught, we're triggered, we're upset, we're pissed off. You know, the infinite ways that that can happen to us. And as soon as we notice that, we can come back to the present moment and then refocus on what it is that we want. That is the name of the game, moment to moment, day to day, is being focused on what it is that you want, moving towards it, and then noticing when you're not so that you can come back and refocus on what it is that you want. That's really what we're trying to do, period, okay?